Okay, so this week's video is gonna be a little bit different because, as you know, I've had quite a bit of trouble with this blood-starved beast. I feel like it's the bane of my existence right now. I don't know how I got Father Gascoigne kind of okay, but the blood-starved beast, I just, I just, I just, I can't do it. Okay, for some reason, I don't know why, I just, I just can't. I just can't get it. So, just as I'm about to throw in the towel or give up this game forever and bury my controller, I decided to seek professional assistance. And what better professional to ask than the only Bloodborne professional, in my opinion, Sean McLaughlin, aka Jacksepticeye. And before you ask me, no, I actually don't know Sean, <laughs> but he's Irish, so he's practically family. So, I took to Twitter to see if I can get some assistance. And... Okay, so maybe he's busy. But, lucky for me, when Bloodborne was remastered, he uploaded a playthrough over on his channel. So, I'm going to use Sean as like a spiritual guide through his own playthrough to see if he can get me past the Bloodstar Beast by seeing how he did it. So let's go. So I found the part where he's 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 about to go into the Bloodstar Beast. I didn't actually watch this hour and six minutes of his video. I... We'll do that another time, okay? I just didn't want spoilers, all right? This is the part where he's coming into the Bloodstar Beast and I want to see exactly how he did it, what advice he has. Is it a strategy? I feel like I was on the right track trying to stun him with the bullets, so I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm so close to solving this and yet I can't do it. So I just want to see what he did. So I'm just going to skip through this section. Be useful, but I don't want to fill up my menu too much. I used to put all five of those items on this menu. But I realized in the middle of the fight, I was like scrolling through a ton of them. And it's just not that helpful. Okay, fair. Here's Alfred's bell if you want to summon him. Oh, are we but summoning him? He... Summoning people make the bosses easier and harder at the same time. <gasps> there's a there's a so creeper? Alfred in there, the boss gets more health. I think, right? Um, I don't know if it doubles, but they definitely get tougher to kind of like balance. They get more health. What? Because if they're the same amount of health, then you can just plow through them. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't but also know about these creepers. If you summon him, then it, he kind of fucks up some of the, the stuff that I strategize. Because he starts attacking the boss when I can do a visceral and things like that. Oh, there they are. There they are. We're going to start off with a one of these. Oh, fire paper. Oh, you know what? I had fire paper on my first round and I feel like we did really, really well. And now I don't have that. Okay, well. And the blood cocktails? And the blood cocktail. You're going to... Hold on, we tried the blood cocktails and that didn't work for me. I throw in the corner. Oh, in the corner. And then he gets attracted to it. You're attacking him before he even gets to the cocktail? Throw another one. So he stays attracted to it. There's no way that works. Throw a last one. There's no way that works. Oh God. Boom, baby! Fuck yeah! Clinical! That went exactly the way I wanted it to! Let's go! I... Uh... What?! It took 28 seconds? <laughs> it took 28 seconds? I've been trying to do this for ages! What?! What the fuck? Okay, hold on, let me just watch that back. What the shit in the shit and the shit? Okay. Pungent cocktails, fire paper. Clearly, clearly the weapons necessary for but this fight. they definitely fight. get tougher to kind of like balance it. Because if they're the same amount of health, then you can just plow through them. But if you summon him, then it, he kind of fucks up some of the, the stuff that I strategize. Because he, he starts goes. attacking the boss when I can do a visceral and things like that. Oh, there they are. There they are. We're going to start off fuck? with a one of these. And then a one of these. Fire paper and a, oh, and he took a pellet. Tail, you're gonna throw in the corner. I've been taking the pellets. I have been taking the pellets. Blood cocktail in the corner. And then he gets attracted to it. Killing him before he even gets there. Throw another one. So he stays attracted to it. And he's using the salt cleaver. And then throw a last one. Oh god. I'm in shock. I am in Ooh, shock. Man. It's almost 29 seconds. I am... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's how we're going to be trying to do this. So, I guess I need to find some punch and blood cocktails. And fire paper. Shh. 
okay, I, I guess I'm going to be doing some farming. Okay, so somebody had mentioned before that I can actually purchase the pungent blood cocktails in from the, the, the fountain, basically, in Hunter's Dream. And in order to do that, you have to have the Saw Hunter badge. Now, I actually did check. I do have the Saw Hunter badge because we fought the boar down in the sewers. So I have that and I can actually purchase the pungent blood cocktails for 2,000 souls a piece. Ah. <laughs> The fire paper, unfortunately, after some Googling, doesn't seem to be available to me until after I defeat this beast. Okay, so some people have found it like in hidden areas in the game, which is probably where I found it during like getting up to this point. But I don't know where there would be more of them. But you can buy them once you've had the Radiant Sword Badge. And the Radiant Sword Badge is basically only after you've defeated the Blood Starved Beast, according to IGN. So I'm going to assume that that's correct so basically the fire paper is probably out i like is there it's just a few hidden areas in the game and i'm like where <laughs> okay here we go where to farm fire paper from 2015 on a reddit okay let's have a look N number one beat the blood starved beast great Okay, so fire paper is definitely out for me, but I do have some Molotov cocktails and I do have the ability to purchase the punch and blood cocktails. So I should probably just go farm some blood echoes, bring it back and exchange it for some punch and blood cocktails and see if this Jacksepticeye method is tried and tested <laughs> for someone like me. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome back. We have farmed some pungent blood cocktails. I managed to get 6,000 blood echoes and I got three punch and blood cocktails because that's how many Jack Jacksepticeye I used. So I am gonna give that a go. I don't have any fire paper. That's my one gripe. I have Molotovs, but I do not have any fire paper. That's not what I meant to do. Um, okay, so I'm not worried about it though. Um, so let's go grab the, I know there's some creepers down here, but I also don't wanna die. You know what, let's get, will we get the creep? No, let's just try. <laughs> I don't want to chance my luck. I'm already chancing my luck with this. Let's see what happens. So Jack Septic Eye came up here to the corner, right? And then threw a blood cock blood cocktail in the corner. And then I'm gonna throw oh he did not like the cocktail. Shit. I'm out of cocktails. I'm out of everything. This didn't work. <laughs> this did not work. God, this did not work. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think the fire paper is key, if I'm honest. I tried my best here, friends. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know, it still got him down pretty far. So, so. <laughs> I think had I watched this before I tried to defeat the Blood Starved Beast, maybe I would have been able to get somewhere because I would have had the fire paper. But now I don't see, mo see a way to get some fire paper. So all I have is the cocktails and th the Molotovs. That's all I have. Ah, so this is an interesting one. All right, let me come back while I have farmed some more cocktails and Molotovs and we're gonna try it again. Okay, so we're back. I did do some farming. I got some pungent blood cocktails. I've got some Molotovs. It's all I have. It's, it's literally all I have. I can only hope for the best. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna try it again, but honestly, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> I feel like I'm just defeated at this point. This game, if I can't get past this enemy, I don't know how I'm gonna get past more enemies, and I feel like this one's probably not even that hard for a lot of people. It's just really disheartening. So I'm hoping that this will work. But honestly, I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a go. I'm gonna come right here. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. This guy is like on something else. Nope. 
Okay, it did kind of work. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. Oh no! He got me! Oh. He got me. I guess without the fire paper, that method is really not gonna work for me, which is super sad. I tried, I tried, and I don't, I don't blame anybody but myself. <laughs> I looked into this way too late. So I am gonna have to defeat the blood starved beast in a different way. Unfortunately, the way that Sean has done it is excellent but it does not seem to work for me without the fire paper. So if you guys have any advice on how to do this without fire paper, please leave that below in the comments. If the key really is just timing and to stun him with the bullet, please let me know. I just wanna know that I'm on the right track. It just seems almost impossible every time. And like I said, it's pretty disheartening and I don't wanna keep uploading the same video for you guys if just me running into a brick wall. <laughs> So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your time here. This game is so cool and I really love it. It's just, it's just a challenge. It's a real challenge. And sometimes I feel like maybe you need to be in the right place in your life to experience this challenge, but hopefully something will click soon and I will get past this stage of the game. Thank you again so much for your support and for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments, any advice, please, please, please. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Maybe next time we will finally do it. Fingers crossed.